What's going on guys? I got a video for y'all today. I was uh, out fishing this morning, didn't really catch nothing. So, And I got a reel that needs to be cleaned. Haven't been cleaned in a little while. I figured I'd go ahead and take this opportunity to clean it. And some of y'all watching may not know how to take a bait gasker apart. So I figured I'd go ahead and show y'all what I do. It's not going to be a real deep clean. It's just like a, a maintenance clean. It's going to tear it into. Go in there and check my gears and clean them up a little bit and put some more grease in there. Put some oil in some places, wherever it needs to be. And this is the reel we're going to be using today. It's a Shimano SLX DC. Can't really see it right there, but there you go. So first, we're going to start by moving the side plate and taking our spool out. Set this over to the side right here. And you want to keep all your stuff kind of in order if you ain't never done it before. That way you know how it goes back together. <clears throat> but Alright. On this reel, right down in here, you got a little Phillips hair screw you got to take off to get your uh, handle nut off. So let's get us a little screwdriver right here. Just pop this off a little tight. Set that over there. Put my screw with it. That way I know that screw goes with that right there. Got got a 10 millimeter. You can use the open end. Just gotta be careful when you put it back on. Make sure you get your nut straight and don't over tighten it because you will strip this nut out or strip your shaft out, and then you really ain't no good. Loosen that up, pull it off, set that down, pull your handle off, and under this is your drag star, it's got a spring under here so all this comes up when you take that nut off, and your little clicker is right in here, has a little peg it's set down in there and the back side of this plate's got grooves and that's what makes the clicking noise when you're tightening and loosening your drag you don't want to lose that that little peg's on a spring too so if you don't say if you set it down wrong it's all gonna fall out and then you're gonna be stuck with not having one you have to find one Next, you're going to remove this spring here. And you can go ahead and take this nut off here. This is actually what applies your pressure for your drag. The star sets down on this. This is what tightens and loosens. Set that over there. You got two washers right here. And pull them off. And you don't want them they're um, bent looking. So you don't want them flat against each other when you put it back together. You want them to, you want to have a gap on either side. If you put them back together where they're flat like this <clears throat> like that there that's no good you want to make sure you got a gap like that just so set them down you got a sleeve right in here but I mean, you can pull it out now or you can pull it out when uh when you pull your side cover off you don't have to remove your tension knob here it, it stays on your side plate whenever you pull your screws out here 
So we're gonna go ahead and you got one, two, three, four screws on this reel. You gotta pull out. So we'll go ahead and pull these out. And if you ain't confident on where the stuff goes back together, you need to try to lay it out in order. I'm just laying mine over here to the side because I've been took this real apart a few times. I can put it back together pretty easy. On some reels, like I'll show you the difference here. This screw, you may not can see it's fine thread. And this one's more of a coarse thread. So you gotta make sure you put them back in the right spot. You strip your holes out. One more to take out here. And it does have springs on the inside. So when you're taking them out, just kind of hold some pressure against this plate. And this one, is a little bit longer and it come off the bottom so I'll remember that when I put them back together I'll know to put the longest one on the bottom now I got everything loose all I gotta do I mean it comes up with the pressure of the springs just slide that up <clears throat> and there's the inside of your reel alright so we're gonna go ahead and start disassembling we can clean it up I pull this gear off everything comes out with it your drag washers and everything is on there so set that down when you take all this stuff off you want to make sure you remember or you know if you're taking it apart completely lay it out in the way it comes apart that way you can put it back together but for right this second, I'm just going to set it. It all come out together, so I'm just going to set it down. Put it out of the way over here. We're going to pull these springs off. Set them down in front of me. I'm going to uh, pull this gear here so I can clean that up pretty good. Now, I decided to go ahead and pull this shaft out. I'm gonna clean up behind it a little bit. It's got two little Phillips head screws. Little bitty ones. You probably can't see them there. All right, two little screws. I'll show you how to put it back again. Ain't much to it. All right, first things first, I'm gonna start with a old toothbrush right here and get all this old grease out. We're just gonna give us a good white rub. All this grease out. You can. I got some little cheap paint brushes, arts and crafts, whatever. It'll get you down in some of these smaller holes. Get all this old grease off here. Now we'll move over here to this gear. Brush it down. Like I said, the, all I'm doing is just getting the old grease off. So we got it pretty cleaned up right there. Take your toothbrush or one of your paint brushes, whatever. Go between your teeth. Make sure you're getting all the dirt grease out now we'll move over to this one here take our toothbrush scrub it down then we'll take us a paintbrush go in between all the teeth you can also use q-tips 
the only thing with the q-tips is they fray and you can leave uh, little specks of your cotton off your q-tip in your gears and stuff and it could cause you problems as long as you get it all cleaned out it's not that big of a deal they work really good just that's dirty before you uh, put it back together just make sure you, you run a paintbrush or something through there get all the uh, cotton out of it it's not a whole lot to it looks good one more thing I need to start pulling this apart wipe all the old grease off it so let's just set this over here out of the way now when I take these apart I try to lay them down in order and then put it back together the exact same way it come apart so this is first I'm gonna take it down lay it down you got a drag washer up under that and take it off lay it here that way when I go to put it back together I know I have to start down here and pick everything up and set it back on here like this so we got that part now I gotta go to the inside here pull this front washer off I'll set it over here on this side because your gear goes in the middle so we got this one goes on top you got your gear this is the top of the gear so that would go in here this drag washer here pick up like that and sticks to the back and then that goes behind that so we got this here we're gonna wipe all this old grease off and clean out the teeth and then we can start greasing and reassembling Got that. <clears throat> I'm gonna go in here. Try to get as much dirt and the old grease out of here as we can. And these teeth are slanted kind of right here. It's the way this gear works. So when you're doing it, kind of try to go with your teeth. That way you're pulling out as much as you can instead of going against them. And go all the way around this gear. Wipe it down. Quick inspection. And it looks pretty good. All right. So we'll go ahead. And put the top back on, just like that. And I got my gear flipped over. I'm gonna take the rag here. Put this in here and just kind of rub it around real easy. I don't wanna break this. Without this drag washer, now you really ain't really no good. There we go. Got that done. Set that back down. I'll take this little plate. Get all this grease off it. I think I put too much grease in this reel last time I cleaned it, really. They don't take that much. But, you know. It happens. Okay. So we got that cleaned up. And you can tell. Yeah. You can see on this washer here. You might not be able to see it on camera. But I can tell. There's a little ring right here. Where this washer sits. So if you forgot. You know laid it down or whatever. Moved it around. Forgot where it was going. You might can tell kind of the side that it was on to start with. So. You know that goes like that. If you got them in line, you'll at least know this goes between this and your main gear here. So 
you know, the least know that goes like that, and then back together like this there. So now we're going to start putting them back together. Up, just get you a little bit on your finger. It don't take a whole lot. Kind of rub it together. Then you take this and just rub it around on that washer. I'm just taking the tip and rubbing it on here, not really doing a whole lot. I'm gonna smooth it out on there. It's got a little bit of grease on there. And that's that. We're gonna start reassembling. All right. So you got your worm gear here. This is where that um, shaft come from that I pulled out while I go off camera, but I'm gonna show y'all how to put it back together right here. It just slides down in that hole. Make sure your gears are lined back up. Make sure it goes down flush. Just like that. Both of these screws are the same size. So it doesn't really matter which side you put them back on. But the, all right, see I got both of them in. I'm just gonna tighten them down a little bit. They don't take a lot of pressure, just get them snug. That one's tight. That one's tight. We'll go ahead and assemble this. Hopefully, when you pull it out, you remember which way it goes. You can't put it upside down. It won't work. All right, so your flat side is going to go up. Your cup down here, right from now, you can see where this gear is tapered, like that right there. So you got to have more room right there. Slide this back down, and it sets right down in there like it's supposed to. So when you push your thumb bar, it actually pulls that gear up and disengages so your line will go out. Come back down, now it engages back to your gear, and you can start riddling. What you want to do, take a little bit of grease, squirt it in there. A little bit of grease, squirt it in there. A little bit of grease. I do it in four spots, kind of opposite of each other. Now you run that around. And you can tell that the grease transfers to this worm gear here. So, that's all you need. Not a whole now we're going to take this and put it back together the opposite way we pulled it apart. So this washer here, the cog washer, goes on the bottom. Just like so. And one thing I will show you is the hole is square. Kind of squared right there. So when you put it on, it'll you have to line it back up on your shaft the way it goes on. You can't have it sitting up here like that and then put it back together. It's not going to work. I won't put it to go together, as a matter of fact. So you want it sitting down flat like that there. Drag washer. Slide this back on there. Top plate is also, it's got two flat sides. You can tell your shaft's got two flat sides. That's the way you got to put it back together. It won't go on. If you try to go on this way, it won't go on there. So, I mean, it's all pretty self-explanatory, but I just want to show y'all anyway. That's all there is to it. Same thing with this one here. As we did the two plastic gears, we're going to take us a little bit of grease and put in a few spots around this gear, and it'll transfer to this one here. I go a couple different spots on this one just to get some grease on it. Then you can take and spin it around a little bit. Kind of hold that one straight. That way it'll, if you hold it too tight, all you do is make a drag wash slip. Just enough pressure to get it to, the teeth to work right. 
That's all there is to it. Now, we'll go ahead, take our side plate. I like to push this washer, this, is a, this race out. You can clean this bearing. On this bearing, Q-tips are really bad because so this is just a roller bearing. You stick Q-tips in there then and roll that around. Then your cotton gets behind that roller bearing. There ain't no way to get it out. You stuck. So you can take one of these little paint brushes. As long as you got a good paint brush, it ain't gonna fall apart on you. And just wipe it out a little bit. Just clean some of that old grease out. It don't, and it's not. This one hitting real, real bad. But we're gonna wipe it down just a little bit. All right. Slide it back together. Make sure everything lines up. You can see them springs in there working like it's supposed to. All right, so we're gonna hold this down with our hand and grab, put your finger thumb on that uh, tension knob right there and hold it down tight. Put your screws back in. Remember the two on this reel, the two with the fine teeth go on the outside of the cover. Go ahead and get one snug down where to hold this cover for me. Don't tighten it all the way. Just get it snug. Start your next one. All right, you got them. In there now we're gonna go to the back side and put these in and when we was taking the part remember that we got two different size screws right here this is the longest screw on here that's the shortest screw and remember that the shortest one went on the bottom so I meant the longest one on the bottom excuse me put that in Tighten it down. I just snugged it up. I didn't put no force on it right now. I want to get all four of them in. That way I can kind of alternate my tightening down. That way I don't crack anything or whatever. So, all right, we got all four screws in. I'm going to start with this one. Tighten it a little bit. Go over to the bottom side. Tighten it a little bit. Then we'll go back to the bottom side here. Get it snug and then top side. Alright, then we're all in, it's tight, ready to go. Our next step is to put this here back in. I'm just gonna wipe it down a little bit. You can add very little grease. You don't want a lot. You don't want your uh, anti reverse to start slipping and your reel going backwards. So just a little bit to keep them rollers good. Not a whole lot. Put it back in. Slide it down. And you have to play with it just a little bit to get it to, there we go. Get it to, them cogs to go back inside that top plate. So, all right. So putting it back together. You take your two little washers here and make sure they're opposite of each other where it's got a gap. You don't want them to be flat with each other, so you can put them flat. They won't have the tension they're supposed to have. You want them to be able to rock back and forth with each other. If you take them, line them up, see, they're flat right there together. So you just flip one of them over, and now they walk side to side. Slide them down on your shaft, down there. 
So I can see I got a gap between them right there. Now we're going to take this nut here. It's got a washer on the back side of it. You can go ahead and slide your washer on. Like that. Take this nut. Screw it back down. Just like that. You ain't really got to worry about getting it tight because that's your drag. So once you put your... your uh, drag star get your reel put back together then you can get everything adjusted back out like you want slide your spring back on there it sits this particular nut's got a little groove cut in it right here on top your spring sits right down in that your next, <clears throat> next step is go back with your drag washer and remember that little clickers inside here so just make sure you keep this plate on. Check it, make sure it's still in there. Yep, everything's still there. This top plate right here has got flat size too, so that's the way this has got to slide back down on there. So you're going to line that up. A little tedious because you got to get the inside of your drag washer is squared. For that nut to slide in then you gotta get that top plate to slide on your shaft just like so so it all slides together now got all that good take your handle slide it back down on there make sure it all goes back down flat got that now, this here is probably my least favorite part of getting these nuts to start back because with them flat sides, it's real easy to get this nut started on her crooked. And you don't want that because you don't want to strip this nut out and then have to order one, wait on one, try to find one, whatever. So you just want to try to get it on her straight. A lot of times it's easy if you kind of turn it backwards and then it'll kind of set down on the threads the way it needs to and there we go got it on go ahead and tighten it back up with your 10 millimeter like I said earlier you don't you want to get it tight but you don't want to bear down on it like you're trying to tighten you know something on a car or whatever I'm sure there's a torque rating to this but I ain't that fancy, I ain't got all that, you know. So we're just gonna get it snug down. There you go. And this right here, it's got little cutouts in here. This nut has gotta be a certain direction for this to go back on right. So you don't want to over tighten it that way it gives you a little playroom because you don't what you won't don't want to do is you don't want to loosen this nut to get this plate on you want to be able to tighten it just a little bit more to be able to get this straight because if you loosen it now your handles wobbly and it just ain't good for nobody so we're going to take this see it won't go down on there just like that so we're going to take her wrench here and tighten it just a little bit not a lot it may it don't take a whole lot to get it set back where it needs to be i didn't quite get it that time so we're gonna turn just a touch more and there we go slides right down so now my nut is not over tight but it is tight because i had to tighten it just a little bit two more turns to get that plate on there so now i know my handle is on there tight take your little screw get it back in there
that tight. All this plate is made for is to keep this nut from backing off. So that way your handle won't get loose on you. But there she is. We got her back together. Now all we got left is to put the spool back in. Put your side plate back on. There we go. Well, it lined up perfect that time. But if you spool don't go down in that gear like it's supposed to, you can put a little pressure here with your thumb or finger and turn your reel handle. And then it'll slide down in that little, in them cogs down in there where it's supposed to be. Take your side plate. Put it back on. Slide it back together. And this one's got this latch on the back side. Lock it back down. And there it is.